Farthingale, sir. Who's Lady Farthingale, you friggin' fop? I must protest, sir. And please, call these ruffians out of the church. Shoot him, Smithers. Lady Farthingale, sir. Worth a bit of money, I don't wonder. Lord Farthingale's a lucky bastard, eh, Marshal, mon ami? <laughs> Maybe. But that cape of hers is like an over-rich sauce, which conceals the true taste of the dish. Stripper, Kelly. I'll do it myself. Oh. What is your husband's full name, madame? Sir Augustus Farthingdale. Is he a general? He's a colonel, like you. What's your <laughs> lip, my lady? If indeed you are the lady. Look more like Portuguese to me. Here's my wedding ring. It is our initials engraved. Here's your proof. How long have you been married then? Six months. Ooh. So the shine's still on it, eh? What brings you up here to this church? The statue of our Holy Mother in this church is said to have special powers. I, um. I came to pray for a child. Lord Farthingale still firing blanks, eh? Do you mind, Missy? I'll give you a full-blown belly by sundown. Madame, is your husband rich? Very. Well, think how much he'll give us to get her back. A lot. See? And how much of your belly is full by my friend Hakeswell here? Nothing. So you must leave her alone, and our friend who we found yesterday, until we have the gold. You must find another chicken for your pot. This one's mine. Send it to the inn. Is this how the English treat their allies? We follow no flag, missy. English, frog, Portuguese. We fight for ourselves now. Good. Madame, you will dine with me tonight. I am cooking poulet with oil and garlic and some fine red wine. 